Final votes are in, and in the 32nd congressional district seat is the one of the big races to watch last night. Republican incumbent Pete Session easily won this party's nomination, and now we know which Democrats will go forward in a runoff for that seat in November. Brittany Jeffers joins us live in Highland Park to explain. Brittany. Yeah, Russ and Kieran, it was a late night last night. The AP finally called that race around 12.30, and we do know that that runoff is going to be between Colin Allred and Lillian Salerno. Now, looking at the numbers, Allred led that race uh, with about 38% of the vote last night. And he, the Dallas civil rights attorney and former Obama administration staffer Colin Allred, as I mentioned, led the Democratic PAC for a chance to go against Republican Congressman Pete Sessions. Allred had a double-digit lead. And the North Dallas-based district leans Republican, but Hillary Clinton beat out President Trump there. Lillian Salerno and Brett Shipp were neck and neck for that runoff slot. Allred and others say they're trying to prove that there is a shift in the political direction for this North Dallas County District. The number one thing I hear is that they don't feel like they have a voice in Washington, that Pete Sessions is too distant, he doesn't come back and talk to us, he doesn't care about our issues. That they're worried about affordable health care, they're worried about how this administration and this unrecognizable Republican Party, how they're treating immigrants and dreamers, and they want change. Now, this Democratic runoff is going to be taking place on May 22nd, and that will determine who will then go against Sessions in November. Live here this morning in Dallas, I'm Brittany Jeffers, CBS 11 News. Thank you, Brittany. In the race for Dallas County Sheriff, the interim sheriff, Democrat Marion Brown, is going to be staying put for a little while longer. She defeated her two primary opponents, Deputy Constable Roy Williams Jr. and Elon J. Sigler. She goes on to challenge Republican primary winner, former Deputy Aaron Meek, who defeated Chad Prada. In the race for Lieutenant Governor's seat, it was pretty much a landslide on the Republican side. Dan Patrick won the party's nomination with more than 75% of the votes. On the Democratic side, Mike Collier edged out Michael Cooper in what turned out to be a close race.